y'all a word up it's your girl Jermaine yeah so I've gotten Jamin I've gotten Germany Jamaica Jambi it is Jermaine <laughs> Okay, so this month is supposed to be the French themed month, hence my post on Princess Belle, who's originally from France. If you haven't seen that, y'all can go and check that out in my cake blog. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. So, I tried making macarons, which is originally a French dessert, and they flopped. So, as I was coming out of the kitchen, in my sadness, I opened the freezer, and guess what I see? I ice cream and I'm like okay ice cream cake let me tell y'all my story with ice cream I'm not an ice cream fan I would not usually go for ice cream I would not buy it for myself I try as much as possible to avoid it first it's too cold and I usually don't even get to enjoy the taste because of how cold it is and then second you see this cone ice creams they usually melt out before I'm even able to lick it and you know licking the ice cream is also so much work for me if I go for ice cream I usually go for ones that are usually coated in chocolate as I feel like they don't usually melt as fast <laughs> So all this came into play and is the inspiration for the cake that I'm making today. So I'm making a chocolate fudge ice cream cake and all the chocolatiness y'all can see over here. It's gonna be a cake that represents my experience with the ice cream. It's gonna be messy and all and yeah, let's get on to it. Sift together flour, powder, baking powder, and then I'll add in some sugar just to mix that in. side and go on to my wet ingredients start out with some eggs oops I see a shell then some sunflower oil and milk gonna whisk that up till it mixed up together and I was doing that on low speed now we're gonna add the wet ingredients into our dry ingredients just to mix them together so that we don't over mix and then I have some golden syrup here I'm gonna add in and just fold it in I have a tin that I already prepared. I greased it with butter and dusted it with some flour. And that's where we're gonna put in the cake butter. Light top. Yeah, and then we're gonna set this in the oven for about 30 minutes. And I'm just baking another cake to layer on top of the first one. I'm gonna just pop that in the oven. While the cake is in the oven, I'm gonna make my icing. Popping that on low heat. Then adding my cocoa powder. So we're gonna set this aside and let it cool completely. So now the cream is ready. I sifted some icing sugar then I added the melted butter mixture into it and just mixed it added milk to make it glossy gonna let it stay for some minutes cakes are ready and we're just about to ice the cakes i'm just gonna add more milk to make it smoother 
So the cakes are looking all funny and dull, but don't worry, I'm gonna make them work. So we have this first cake. Put in some of the icing first, kinder to make it also act as a crumb coat. Now we'll put in our ice cream. This is the chocolate triple ice cream. I kind of took it out of the freezer earlier so it's softened and all. I'm gonna leave some to like glaze the top of the cake. I'm just gonna spread that. And then now I'm gonna put my other cake on top of that. I took it out of the cake tin before it had cooled out, but that is still gonna work. I'm gonna put more icing on the top. I'm gonna ice the sides of the cake. Okay, so I have some Oreo here and that's what we're gonna use on the sides. So this is how the cake looks like on the sides. I'm not gonna let that bother me. The ice cream is melting so obviously I need to really take it back to the freezer right now. Other spaces, that's where our Oreo comes in. I'll just separate the Oreos and then stick them right there on the sides where there there seems to be you know gaps then also gonna put some on the sides so i'm just gonna grate some chocolate on it okay i guess it's turning out nicely i guess but I probably should have put the Oreos after on the top. So I'm gonna crush more Oreos and just put them on the top. And then remember the ice cream that was left, I'm just gonna drizzle that on the sides of the cake. And yeah, I guess we are done. cake after staying overnight in the freezer the ice cream is firmed up and see the Oreos hot it today y'all can see it's so hard it's so frozen y'all your typical like, really filled ice cream cake but y'all can see the melted ice cream over there i know my tooth is aching but i'm gonna just give it a taste for y'all a very nice small piece over there ice cream is just okay oh wow i thought i wouldn't like it but it is so nice and you know i don't really feel the coldness of the ice cream as much since it's covered in all the cakes and the oreo just brings a nice crunchy touch to it so yeah be sure to try it yeah so that's a true representation of me how i am with ice cream and i hope i inspired you out there bakers and all who are just trying to bake if your cake seems like it's going south not give up on it you can actually turn it around and turn it into something wow worthy be sure to like this video comment what you think of the video of the cake and share this video with everyone so y'all can be eating this amazing cake shout out to june muto who's a new subscriber welcome to the fam so on that note do not forget to subscribe so see y'all later kisses